Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I have another spread in my junky art journal and I'm trying out a, um, well it's not a new technique, I did this in the past, but it's been a long time that I've been using this technique. I'm stamping with gesso to my pages and the papers in this journal are different because it's a handmade junky art journal and I think I have kind of a watercolor paper on the left and a newsprint on the right side. I don't have an Inktober project today. Well, I have one that will be posted on my Instagram Reels, so you can check it out over there. But I thought I would make a bigger Inktober video next Wednesday for my new no voiceover videos. I always wanted to post a second video again I did this in the past um, but editing especially doing the voiceover it takes such a big amount of time it's uh, a few hours I'm using to just make the editing um, because I also um, do the voiceover in German for my German viewers so I decided um, I will just post a video without voiceover on Wednesdays because I have a lot of videos recorded I just don't find the time to edit them. So in case you missed last Wednesday's video you can still check that out. I did some mixed media tags and always when I do a no, no voiceover video I will write more details in the description if there is something that's maybe unclear or important to know. As always, this video comes with a blog post where I have a close-up image and some writing. I do a lot of blogging recently. I just decided I want to have a safe place where my, my process is recorded because um, with Instagram, I don't feel that it's, it's safe. Um, I don't know what what might happen. Someone could hack my account and delete everything I've posted. So I decided I will post everything I post on Instagram, also over on my blog. So I I have it just um, in a safe place. So if you're interested, you can um, just jump over. I have a link in the description. I almost forgot to describe my process, um, I added watercolors after the gesso was dry and you can see that this creates a really beautiful resist and I think it's a really nice technique for an art journal background. The watercolors I'm using are from different brands. I have two big tins here with bigger pans because I like to use those when I do some bigger paintings. And on the right side, I have the core watercolors, which have this property of the high flow. And they just push away the other pigments and can create really nice effects. I now put out my liquid charcoal palette. I bought this for my holidays and mainly for using them in my sketchbook. And I really like them. I really like the texture you get. And also the, the way they work, they are great for sketching, but I thought they also will add a really interesting and crunchy texture to this spread. By the way, these liquid chocolates are from Durvind. The circle stamp I've used is of one of the pencil mark sets. I always forget which stamp is in which set apart from the bigger ones. Um, but I will link everything I've used up in the description. Finally, I'm adding some splatters because I like the texture you get. And then I will leave my page to dry. Now I'm going to add some stamping to my spread and I'm using 
um, a cross stamp from, I believe it's from the pencil marks number two. There might be the circle stamp on this as well. And I just use a black ink and I laid a piece of foam underneath because stamping in this bulky book can be a bit difficult and that makes it a lot easier. I wanted to have some more texture and I'm using another stamp from the Mix It Up One set with a little bit of writing just to create some interest on the background. I wanted to use kind of a main image on the page and finally I decided to pick a stamp from the pencil marks number two. I'm using that leaf stamp that comes in the set and I decided first I will stamp it directly um, to the page. And this piece of foam works perfectly. You just have to make sure that everything you stamp will be on the foam and not on the edge because then it will not be a good stamp impression. I often get asked which stamp inks I'm using. I love Versa Fine Clear. It is, it gives you the best um, saturated imprints, but it's not so good on a non-porous surface. So if you're working on acrylic, on acrylic, on an acrylic background or on acetate, then it will not dry really good. Then I prefer stays on and with stays on it's super important. Well, it's with all stamp sets. It's important to ink them up regularly. Um, so they have to be really f full with ink, then you will get the best impressions. I've added some white splatters with white acrylic ink. I think this contrast between the dark and the light is important to create some interest and I really love the vibrancy you get with splatters. It's just um, so full of life. I also decided to add some darker ones and I believe I'm using watercolors either black or paints gray. I let the splatters dry and in the meantime I searched for a main image and I also searched for a sentiment and I used this sentiment, it's from our Flowers Gone Wild stamp set and I stamped it to some scrap paper and adhere the words um, with a glue stick and on the left side you see the same stamped image I have used on the right and this was stamped to also a leftover paper, some of my leftover acrylic backgrounds. And I had this in my stash for a while and I thought it matches perfectly color-wise, especially with the touches of blue, which are not on the page and give me a little bit of interest. The only area where I have a little bit of that blue is in the middle um, on the bottom. Maybe you can see these tiny um, dots with that blue color and I think that that rounds it up perfectly. Yes, and that's my spread for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to come back on Wednesday for the no voiceover video. And then I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye.